Most student musicians experience mechanical problems with their instrument at some time. Trying to play a damaged instrument can be frustrating, discouraging, and repair work can be expensive. In the next few minutes, we would like to show you how to prevent problems with your instrument by demonstrating some simple procedures and principles of instrument care. Research has shown that 80% of all damage to student musical instruments is caused by improper handling and assembly and lack of cleaning and maintenance. It is obvious then that you can save yourself up to 80% of the frustration, wasted time and expenses associated with damaged and dirty instruments simply by learning to take proper care of your instrument. By learning to take, take care, care, take, take pride. pride. Most musicians would agree that an ideal instrument is one that works properly, looks nice, is clean and sanitary, and will last a long time. You can have an instrument like this simply by following the CARE formula. C. Commit. Commit to take care, take pride. Commit to watch and listen to this videotape closely, and commit to learn all the procedures for your instrument. A. Ask. Ask any question you have about your instrument. If there is something you don't understand, ask your band director ask your private music teacher, or ask a qualified repair technician. R. Repeat. Repeat consistently the daily, weekly, and monthly maintenance schedule as described in this video and on the care card for your instrument. Make a habit of consistently repeating the correct assembly procedures. E. Expert. Take your instrument to a repair expert whenever you have mechanical problems with it. You should take your instrument in for a checkup at least once a year to see if it needs professional lubrication and adjustment. Commit, ask, repeat, expert. The care formula is simple, but it can bring great results and make your band experience much more enjoyable. Now come with us and learn to take, take care, care, take, take pride. pride. The brass family is made up of three different types of instruments. Instruments with piston valves that move up and down, such as the trumpet, coronet, baritone, and some tubas. Rotary valve instruments with valves which rotate back and forth, such as the French horn. The trombone, which has a hand slide which moves in and out. These are beautiful instruments, and they make beautiful music when they are working properly. However, these instruments are very sensitive to what you blow into them, and require regular cleaning and maintenance in order to play properly. They are also very fragile instruments made of soft metals. Therefore, they must be assembled and handled carefully in order to keep them in good playing condition. First, let's take a look at some general tips that will help all brass players. Then we will demonstrate specific care procedures for your instrument. The most common problem with brass instruments is caused by what you blow into them. Watch if you can as a flexible cleaning brush is forced through the trumpet mouthpipe and you will see the buildup that accumulates when a brass instrument is not cleaned regularly. This residue, made up of sugar, food particles, and other chemicals, builds up as you play your instrument. It is much like the plaque that builds up on your teeth and can be just as destructive. Several problems can result from plaque buildup in your instrument. Valves and tuning slides become sluggish and sometimes freeze up. The spaces between piston valves and the valve casing are as close as one one thousandth of an inch. Any buildup in the valve casing will cause sluggish valves. Your instrument can become a host to harmful bacteria and viruses. Buildup of plaque can cause red rot, a condition which can eat right through the metal tubing of your instrument. Buildup of plaque and food particles restricts airflow and decreases the quality of sound. Following some general rules will help you prevent problems with plaque buildup. Do not eat or drink soft drinks for at least one hour before playing. If you must eat just before playing, be sure to rinse your mouth thoroughly with water. What goes in must come out. The inside of your instrument should be cleaned on a regular basis as demonstrated in this videotape. Use the quality valve oils, slide oils, and tuning slide grease and other lubricants as directed by this videotape, your teacher, and the maker of your instrument. These lubricants protect your valves and slides from corrosion as well as keep your instrument working smoothly. The second most common problem with brass instruments is the denting or bending of brass tubing. Damage to the tubing of your instrument can drastically affect how it plays, how it looks, and can be expensive to repair. Dents restrict airflow and change the tuning of your instrument. Dents in valve casings and bent tubing can lock up valves. Dents in trombone slides can make playing very difficult. Dents affect the way an instrument looks. 
Some general rules will help prevent these problems. Take responsibility for your instrument. You should be the only one playing and handling your instrument. Whenever you are not playing your instrument, it should be in its case. After you put your instrument in the case, always make sure that your mouthpiece and other objects will not move around inside the case when it is closed, and that the case latches are closed tightly before you pick it up. Even when your instrument is in its case, it must be handled carefully and set down gently to avoid damage. Always keep your instrument in a safe place at home and at school to prevent others from tampering with it. Having stuck mouthpieces and slides is a common problem for brass players and can often end up causing serious damage to an instrument. If you get a stuck mouthpiece or tuning slide, take your instrument to a repair technician. The charge for removing a slide or mouthpiece is minimal compared to the damage you can cause by trying to remove it yourself. You can avoid stuck mouthpieces by twisting the mouthpiece gently to the right or left while inserting it and then twisting it in the opposite direction while removing it. Stuck slides can be avoided by following the maintenance schedule in this video and on your care card. Everyone likes to have an instrument that looks nice. However, everyday use of your instrument can destroy the bright finish. Natural acids from your fingerprints and perspiration will actually eat through the lacquer finish and cause silver plating to become dull and tarnished. You can prevent this by wiping these fingerprints off with a soft cloth and a little breath on a daily basis. Chemical brass polishes can damage the lacquer finish on your instrument and should not be used. Silver instruments, which have no lacquer finish, can be polished with a good quality silver polish once a year. However, fingerprints should be wiped off daily. We will now demonstrate proper handling techniques and the daily, weekly, and monthly cleaning and maintenance procedures as found on your instrument care card. With few exceptions, most of these care procedures for brass instruments should be done at home at a regular practice time and should not take up class time. The trumpet and cornet should always be lifted out of the case by placing the hand around the valve casings, lifting it out of the case and then placing the fingers in the proper finger hooks. Picking your trumpet up by the slides can bend and lock up valves as well as cause you to drop your instrument. The baritone should be handled in the same manner. The tuba and sousaphone are much bigger and should be picked up by grasping the main tubing. Even though the tuba is bigger than the trumpet, the French horn should be lifted out of the case with your left hand grasping the mouthpipe and brace here. Place your other hand in the bell and lift the French horn out of the case. Then place your left hand in the proper playing position. The most popular rotary valve instrument is the French horn. We will use the French horn for our demonstration. However, the same principles will apply to any rotary valve instrument. The following daily, weekly, and monthly maintenance procedures will help keep your French horn clean and functioning properly. Each day, you should remove fingerprints and perspiration from the finish of your instrument. Your instrument should be polished with a soft cloth and a little breath to remove fingerprints and perspiration. Once a week, you should flush the inside of your instrument with water, clean the mouthpipe, clean the mouthpiece, and apply rotary valve oil to the valve bearings. Once a week, the French horn should have cold water run through it to neutralize acids, and the mouthpipe should be scrubbed to remove buildup. Because there is so much tubing on the French horn, a rubber spray hose such as this will be needed to force water through the entire instrument. This hose should have one end which will fit over the faucet and the spray attachment on the other end should be removed. Place the end of the hose into the bell as far as you can without getting it stuck. Run water through the horn and depress each of the valves to allow water to run through all of the tubing. Hot water does not work any better than cold and can damage the lacquer finish on your instrument. Scrub the mouthpipe thoroughly with a flex brush designed for your instrument. And run water again to rinse. Be sure to keep the water running until the water coming out of the mouthpipe is clean. All of the water should be emptied from the horn. 
Most of the water can be removed by rotating the instrument with the valves depressed so that the water will come out of the bell and the mouthpipe. Any remaining water can be emptied by removing the tuning slides and pouring the water out. Hot water does not work any better than cold and can damage the lacquer finish on your instrument. Be sure to thoroughly wash the bathtub after using it to clean your instrument. The inside of the mouthpiece should be cleaned using a brass mouthpiece brush and warm soapy water in this manner. Also with this weekly maintenance session, rotary valve oil should be applied to the valve bearings. There is an upper and lower bearing on each valve which must be oiled. The lower bearing is located at the base of the valve casing on the underside of the instrument. A few drops of oil should be applied at the joint between the valve casing and the stop arm. To access the top bearing, remove the valve cap and place a few drops of oil near the center where the metal parts meet. If the screw going into the bottom bearing has oil written on it, carefully remove the screw and place a few drops of oil in the hole and replace the screw. Do not attempt to remove the valves from the casings. This should only be done by a qualified repair technician during a yearly chemical cleaning. Once a month at a regular maintenance time after following the weekly procedure of flushing your instrument out with water, you should disassemble your instrument and clean it thoroughly and apply new tuning slide grease. After flushing the instrument with water, the slide should be removed one at a time and the tubing on the body of the instrument and of the slide tubes scrubbed with a flex brush. After scrubbing the tubing, wipe the old tuning slide grease and residue off the slide with a cloth or paper towel. Apply new grease sparingly to the ends of the inner slide tubes. Replace the slide and move it in and out to distribute the grease. Repeat this procedure for each slide. Then run water through the instrument to rinse. After rinsing, remove the water from the tubing as shown previously and dry the instrument with a soft cloth to prevent water spotting. Playing in the band is a fun experience and one which can be a positive influence on the rest of your life. Trying to play an instrument that doesn't work properly only takes away from the fun of playing. Now that you have learned to take care and take pride, you can prevent most of the common problems with instruments simply by following the assembly and handling techniques and the daily, weekly, and monthly maintenance schedule shown in this program. You must decide whether you want an instrument that you can be proud of or an instrument that will give you problems. It's not a hard choice to make when you look at the benefits of taking care and taking pride. You can keep your instrument in top playing condition, prevent needless damage and repair bills, extend the life of your instrument. Play more confidently, knowing that you have taken care and taken pride. Remember the care formula. Commit. Commit to take care, take pride. Ask. Ask any questions you have about your instrument. Ask your teachers or a repair technician. Repeat. Repeat consistently the care procedures daily, weekly, and monthly as shown on your care card. Expert. Take your instrument to a repair expert whenever you have mechanical problems with it. You should take your instrument in for a checkup at least once a year to see if it needs professional cleaning, lubrication, and adjustment. Good luck, and take, take care. care. Take, take pride. pride. You must remember that it gets dense just as easily. Daily.